Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if OneDrive is coming across a sign in error code 0x8004DE40 on your Windows 10 computer and it says that there was a problem connecting to OneDrive. Uh, check your internet connection and then try again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So a few potential workarounds here. The first one I recommend trying would be to open up the star menu, type in internet options. Best result should come back with internet options. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the connections tab. And then you want to go select where it says LAN settings. Go ahead and left click on that button. And make sure where it says automatically detect settings that is checkmarked. If it was not selected there, you want to go ahead and select that and then see if that resolves the problem. Close it here. Another thing, select the advanced tab now. And now scroll down and go underneath where it says use TLS 1.1, 1.2. Make sure those are checkmarked. You do not need to have 1.3 checkmarked. You can if you want, but I personally don't think that's necessary for this tutorial. But make sure. 1.1 and 1.2 and you might want to also make sure again 1.0 is checkmarked here or 1 and heard so just make sure all three of them are checkmarked honestly and again see if that has resolved the problem another thing we can try here close it here so restart your computer and one further thing you try here if you're still having a problem would be to open up the start menu type in network reset best result should go back with network reset go ahead and left click on that now, this will remove and reinstall your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. So make sure you have your Wi-Fi password nearby before you select the reset button here, because you will need to enter it back in once your computer restarts. So once you have that, go ahead and select the reset now button. Select yes. And now we're going to go ahead and close out of any open programs we have and restart our computer. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.